Hello, welcome back to another episode of Ginger Fisherman. To those of you who follow me on Facebook, I've uh, lied a little bit. I said I was going to be targeting big perch on worm and maggots in this next session. Got down to the river where I wanted to fish. Had some nice looking swims. I'd look out in the water, see if I could see any perch about. Couldn't see anything at first, a couple of swims. So I was having a look to see if I could find any small roach, any little live baits. Um, sometimes if you put one of them out there, the perch just seem to come out of nowhere. Um, what happened was, a uh, bait, uh, fish come floating down the edge. Assumed it was dead if I'm honest. Um, so I quickly ran down and grabbed net and netted it. And it was a chub, about a pound, and it's proper on its way out. Battered looking thing, I think. Probably had been had by another pike or cormorant or something. And uh, it was far too big for perch. And as you guys know, I do love my pike. I have my waders, I have my underwater camera. I thought, chuff it. <laughs> I'm going to go for pike instead. So where's that chub? It's uh, not had any fun here, but you can see something's had hold of it. It's a bit half dead, but it'll do. Um, and then what I've also done is I had a few casts out with a with a perch rod into a shoal of roach and dace and things and I've caught myself two or three other little live baits. You know what I'm going to do? A bit of underwater filming. If I'm honest, when I go out to do underwater filming, not, I don't plan to actually catch anything. It's, it's more about filming the, the takes underwater and things like that. So for that reason today especially I've put a single hook on, one small single hook. As you can see, for the size of that bait and that single hook, chances are I'm not actually going to catch anything. But if a pike takes it, then um, I still get to get the footage underwater. And if it comes off, then that same pike sometimes actually come back and take it again. And they make another nice little shot for me. So I'm going to cast this fish out to them bushes with the underwater camera. Um, see if I can get anything. So here's me saying very specifically, I don't want to catch any pike, or I'd rather not, and uh, what have we gone and done? <laughs> See that little single look there? It's just managed to, to nick it in the side of the mouth. I don't know if I can get it out. There we go. Well, I've still got my bait, so that's a positive. Lovely little Jackie. Probably a few pounds, nice and fat. We'll be getting ready to spawn soon. Right, get him back. Okay, <laughs> quick release.
This is the biggest fish I've ever had taken the bait in front of the camera before. No, nope, I'm mistaken. It's actually not that big. the biggest fish I've ever had to take the bait in front of the camera before. Yep. <laughs> Walked really nicely. Not single. Let's chuck the rod up the bank. <laughs> I wouldn't have expected that. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful fish. Really powerful jaw. This fish is probably about 12 pounds or so. Really fat. Getting ready for spawning. And you know what? <laughs> I'm going to go home now. I don't think there's much point in me staying out any longer. This is a beautiful fish. Oh, let's get it back.